Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chara, and today I want to highlight one of the knight's newest perks, Hex Face the Darkness. Um, I see Leon here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blast. Get two screams. The other person is back in that corner over there, but I will go after Leon. Um, in what is perhaps maybe a very evil build, and so what Hex Face the Darkness does is after you injure Survivor, so, so like this, um, if you have a Dolton on the map, um, it will activate as a Hex, and what it'll do is all survivors other than the survivor um, that are, oh, okay, he kept running, um, not in your Terriotis will scream every 25 seconds um, until they either cleanse the totem um, or the survivor that you injure becomes, okay, you got that bolt off, um, either healthy again or until you down them. And so when I saw this perk, I immediately thought to pair it with Devour Hope. Okay, um, he might have just kept running. Um, I'm getting a little distracted here. Okay, yeah, he did. Uh, okay, got it on the other side. Um, I immediately thought of Devour Hope, which is a very deadly perk, um, especially when you're able to accumulate enough tokens. Um, because if you get three tokens, you're able to insta-down survivors. And if you get five tokens, you're able to straight up Mori them. Okay, this is kind of a deadly spot if he stays here, because I can just shock him. He's gonna have to keep running. Oh, okay. He went away. Um, we should have him here. I'm going to try not to let him dead hard me. There we go. Okay, we got Ada here. Um, I might see if I can get this pallet out of her. Okay. And then I might go back. She's still lurking around. She, I think she has a med kit. Oh wait, White is here too. I don't think she has a flashlight. Okay, I think we are good. Um, but the issue with Devour Hope is that it gets cleansed usually pretty very easily because survivors are very good at finding hex totems. And, okay, someone's, two people are up here. I was gonna go around this way to see if maybe they would drop. It looks like they did not though. Um, and so, for Devour Hope, we brought some reinforcements. Okay, actually, I was out of Devour Hope run, so I got one stack of Devour Hope. And, oh, I, actually, I, I can hear them working on that stone right here. So I will go interrupt that. Do not touch my totems. Ah, I mixed it up. Okay. Um, so, the goal of our build is to interrupt survivors doing totems. Um, which works because unlike generators and like like opening chests and things like that, if survivors get interrupted while cleansing totems, they will have to start over again from the beginning. The progress will not be saved. Okay, I mean, I'll hit you. That's fine with me. Um, so our build focuses on interrupting survivors as often as possible. So obviously we have Hex Face the Darkness, which will um, cause survivors to scream outside of our Terriotis, so that will interrupt them. And we also just have the Doctor, which his big static blast interrupts survivors in our terror radius. Um, and I also brought the two Calm add-ons, both the purple and the yellow one, um, which... Okay, just wanna make sure I get this. Um, which increases our terror radius by, I believe, 14 meters when our static blast is ready, but also decreases it by 14 meters when it is not ready. So that will hopefully... Uh, uh, get more use out of Hex Face the Darkness by decreasing our terror radius um, so that there's more chance that they're outside of our terror radius when our stack blast is not ready. So I'll go ahead and blast here. Okay, two screams over here. And then I also brought Hex Thrill of the Hunt, which will make it even harder for survivors to cleanse totems without getting interrupted because it just takes longer for them to cleanse totems. And then I also brought Hex Undying, which um, will provide a little bit of a buffer uh, because survivors will have to cleanse at least two totems um, prior to cleansing Devour Hope. And hopefully there's a chance they might have to cleanse more because they might get Hex Thrill of the Hunt, they might get Hex Fix the Darkness. Um, so hopefully it'll be a little harder for survivors to cleanse totems. Shock like that so he can't fault the window. And I'm just going to zone him out of the window here. Now this guy has Dead Hard, so I'm just going to wait for it. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna tuck him back here, although I, I'm a little worried putting it right here because they might see this totem when they get him. 
But if I put him back here, then there's a very good chance I will be outside of his Terriotus when they unhook him, which will give me my third stack. Um, I'll go ahead and blast here. I see someone right there. Okay, we only got two screams. Go ahead and damage this. I mean, the survivors are doing fairly well. They seem to be making good progress on gens. I would not have stayed here um, because doctors can play around pallets fairly well. Okay. Okay, and so I will put him up here. Alright, okay, here's someone perhaps going for the unhook. I mean, I heard Dwight over there somewhere. Okay, so now I have my three stacks of Devour Hope. Um, so now maybe maybe Ada will come for the rescue and I can maybe insta down here. Okay, so I'm chasing her back this way a little. And so now, if I hit her one time, she will be downed. Unfortunately, she might have seen this totem right here. But it's okay, I don't think, yeah, they haven't cleansed any totems yet, or maybe maybe they cleansed one. I'm not sure if Hex's Face the Darkness is active right now. Okay, I see Vittorio here. Which, I mean, he is injured. Okay, he's running towards check. I see, I see Ada running, um, towards the unhook here, so um, I will go try to... It, she's gonna get it to the unhook, but I can probably insta on her after she gets the unhook. Is Dwight okay over there? <laughs> what is Dwight doing? Oh man, I hit I hit Leon. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm not sure she makes it anywhere, though. Hi, Vittorio. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I should've just gone for the Ada there, but... I can't- is Toy just like really struggling to do the madness skill check? Ooh, Ada's right here. And I think I threw this pallet, um... So let's see where she runs to. Is she just going edge map? Okay. Alright. Oh, she has boil over this follow she ran into the, the corner. Okay, I do have a hook right here, though, so, um, I can hook her here. I think Dwight might be AFK or something. There's no reason he should be just, like, because like, there's just, those might, in fact, be crows I'm hearing. Okay, I got the, the Dwight in the Vittorio. Yeah, I think, I think those might be crows. But they're on my totem here, so I'm gonna go interrupt them. Which, even if they cleanse this, I, I think Undyne's still active, because it's still lit. So I think they might have to do a couple. I see Victoria here, too. Um, I will go over here, and then maybe we'll go... Shut the Dwight up. <laughs> yeah, he's just AFK. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and so you can see that they they were doing pretty well on gens. Um, they were they're pretty close to getting all the gens done, but um, Hex of Arva Hope kind of overwhelmed them. It seems. Okay, they healed, so they might still be back here. I'm not sure why you would heal against a Devour Hope. I mean, I guess it's pretty grim at this point. Okay, I guess I'll have to go tuck him back here. And I think Vittorio is dead on hook, yeah. And so we just have Ada left. Um, I honestly might give her hatch just because her her teammate kind of went AFK. And so I feel a little bad. They they might have, yeah, I don't know, if, if Dwight had been here and they, they might have been able to come back. I'm not sure. It would have been close. It would have been really close. Um, so yeah, I might give Ada Hatch here, and I will see you all in match two. Okay, looks like we got Midwitch for our second map. Now, this map is actually usually a very good map for Doctor, for hitting people with your Static Blast. 
just because it's like kind of condensed so you can normally hit a lot of people so you can see we hit all four survivors um with our static blast someone is up here i think they're hiding behind this piano right here yeah they are um so yeah, this, this might be pretty good for us, but then we might also might not get as much value out of Hex Face the Darkness um, if, uh, since they will most likely be in our terriers. Oh man, that did not hit. Okay, I'm just gonna, I was trying to like force it with the Dr. Blast, but I think I can hit her regardless if I break that pallet. Okay, she might not get too far. I can hear at least one person, maybe two on that gen right there, but I want to guarantee this down and then maybe I will scare them off that. I don't see a hook right here either. So if they like take uh, hits, that might be bad for me. Okay, I think I should be able to hit this Jeff and then I'll, I'll probably go back because the Cheryl might go try to um, pick up the Claire, was it? It was a Claire, I think. Okay, I'll go ahead and blast since my blast is ready. I just want to keep them... Another tip for this build is that you just want to keep them in Madness as much as possible. Because also if they are in Madness Tier 3, then they will continuously have to um, snap out of it. So they won't be able to cleanse your totems if they're snapping out of it. Interesting. Man, I have like no hooks on this side of the map. Okay. I'll have to go here. Thankfully the Jeff doesn't look like he's body blocking this. I think I should be able to make it. Unless that Cheryl or that Fang has... Um, Break out. I don't think she does. Finish this gen. I, I could have gotten here a little sooner, but. Okay. Well, this is a good pal to get out of the way early, so I'll go ahead and break this. I think Jeff might go for the unhook, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, I guess he didn't come back this way. He might be going around and then going from this entrance. Yeah, actually, he is. I should be able to get a hit here. But I do, I do a little bit want to stay out of our range. Although that hook is like in the center of the map, it might be hard to be out of devour range. Um, for that unhook. Okay, like right here, I'm out of devour range. So I kind of want to stay. Okay, okay, I can go around this loop and still be out of devour range. Okay, so we got one stack, so that's good. Um. <laughs> uh, it's kind of an awkward loop. I'm just gonna go and break it. Cause there's not a window here, so um, there's probably not a pallet, but. Man, I'm, 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 I'm mistiming these shocks a little bit. I haven't played Doctor in a while. Doctor used to be like, uh, when I first started playing Killer, okay, dead hard. Um, Doctor was like my favorite killer for a little bit. Um, I still really like him. Um, I'm gonna break this. Okay, he's right here, so I'm just gonna chase him straight too. Um, but he was my favorite killer for a bit. I like started off, I played Wraith for a little bit. I um, mean, then also I, I will say I, I was, uh, I didn't play killer until I played like over 800 hours of Survivor. So I, I was kind of like familiar to the game before I started playing killer. Man, there are no hooks over here. Like absolutely none. I, I might have to drop him, honestly. Um. But yeah, so uh, when I first started playing Killer, I played Wraith for a couple of games. Um, she might throw that, yeah. And then I got Legion with Geary Shards as quickly as I could. And I, I played Legion for a bit, and then as soon as I could, I got Doctor. And I loved Doctor for a while. Um, and then, you know, got a lot of the other killers along the way. Okay, all three of them are here. Honestly, I might go back for this person because they are trapped in here and have no pallet, so they should be a pretty easy down here. Just trying to wait out Deadheart. Okay, now I'm gonna have to go to the center hook. Um, I I might have been able to make it to a hook with that Jeff. I just kind of started walking the wrong direction. I I mean maybe, you know, he might have wiggled regardless. I just can't believe there's no hook in that hallway over there. That's insane. I mean, there's a couple on, like, the upper floor, but that doesn't really help me because I can't get there easily. All of them are here. Hey, Claire. Okay, he dead-hearted, so he does not have dead heart up. Okay, that'll blast all three of them, so two of them are Madness Tier 3. Um, this one's going for the unhook. Okay, you, you can see the white aura? Okay, I see Fang here. Um, so that means she has reassurance on her. 
Um, my issue is I would pick up this thing. I just don't know if I can make it to another hook. Like, maybe I can make it to basement. It's like, it's not really worth it to camp if, if like, they have reassurance so the timer's not going down. But, like, I just honestly don't know if I can pick up the figment. Um, I don't know what to do here. And also, if they unhook when I'm right here, like, I won't get my devour stack anyway. I still only have one devour stack. Okay. Let's see, I'll just go for fa Claire. Jeff is going to be able to get that unhook and pick up the fang, which is not great for me, but... I got the Claire. I'll put her in basement, which is good for me because it's like kind of tucked away in this corner here. So I should be able to get my third devour stack fairly easily, hopefully, as long as I set up range. But the, this team is actually pretty good. They are only down to two gens um, and they seem like fairly competent, like loopers and things like that. And okay, shale here. Also just trying to shock as much as possible to keep them their maddest tier up. Okay, she should be dead here. Oh, she actually has dead her. I, I don't think I saw her use it earlier. Okay, well you can mend and I will go after the thing. Ah, she could bolt before that. I'm also, okay. I'm also, when I used to play Doctor, I used to play a little more with the Discipline add-ons, um, which like made the shock timing a little differently. You have to do like the shock timing pretty early um, to get it before they bolt the pallet. Okay, so I have three stacks of our hope, and also I have, okay. Uh, for some reason I thought they were in, in that way, but they did not. I'll go ahead and bless. I see Jeff here. Um, I also have at least two totems up. Although, see, Undying is highlighted, so I think Undying's still up, right? Alright, someone tell me if that's not how it works. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess because face the, face the Darkness is not currently active, because it is not lit up. Okay, four tokens. We might actually get a five token game. Because I don't think they are that close to cleansing all the totems right now. Okay, this pallet is gone. And so I will wait out his dead hard. Get him tier three. Okay, I'm gonna do that to bait the dead hard, and then I'll hit him. That's a little. That's also a nice thing about Doctor. You can kind of do a little trick like that because it kind of looks like you're swinging when you like um, queue up your M2, but you can actually just cancel it and then hit them after they did hard. Go ahead and blast. Okay, two screams. Let's see, two of them are still in Madness Tier 3. This is this is honestly probably like torture for them. <laughs> oh, I thought we had uh, dropped this pallet earlier. I guess not. Yeah, I guess uh, the Jeff had played around it. I don't think the Claire has dead hard. Cheryl and Jeff do. Okay, so we were close enough to that hook that we didn't get the fifth stack. Okay, actually Claire's dead. I kind of thought she was on second hook. But... Okay, they've cleansed one totem, so I believe that was Undying. So Devourer should still be active. I also hate, because Devourer only like lights up when you are in range, like when they hook. But like it's hard to tell sometimes when you have like multiple totems if like they've cleansed Devourer Hope, which I don't like. But I'm pretty sure it's still active. <laughs> Okay, so we haven't really been on this side of the map yet, so both of these pallets should be up, unless this, yeah, this uh, two pallet room with a window. Which is not ideal. And the thing is, even if I try to, like, shock this around, she'll probably be able to just make it to that window. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break this pallet here, even though I might have been able to brute force it, but she also might have been, if she played it right, been able to make it back to the window. I might get this. Yeah, a little, a little late. So they're down to one gen. I'll give props to this team though. I think they're playing really well. I think, I think like this doctor on this map is actually kind of brutal. 
So I think they got a little unlucky with the map selection. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I know I can do this, but it just takes so long. <laughs> Put it right here. I could have gone for the more central hook, but this one might be a little more likely to get me that fifth stack. I mean, not at this point. I think we're okay without it, but... Ooh, okay, no one uh, screamed. Interesting. They're not on this gen, though. I don't think any of the last gens have that much progress. Um, but since no one's on this gen, I guess I'll just go back to my other two gens. Okay, I found Jeff. Oh, he ran upstairs, so he is dead. Yep. Oh, I guess the fire is down. See? It's impossible to know. <laughs> okay. If I was paying a little more attention, it would be possible to know. But very difficult to know. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Okay. I just wish it had, like, I don't know. It had, like, a separate icon to tell you, like, when it's active still, when it hasn't been cleansed still, and then another, like, a separate one to do, like, if you were in range, um, when a survivor is hooked. But, I mean, Devour Hope gave us a lot of, um, value, because now, even though we don't have Devour Hope active anymore, like, it stalled them so much, because they, I mean, they were very good loopers, they were pretty good at getting gens done, um, but Devour Hope was able to make them search for totems, uh, and gave us a few insta downs. So I think we got a ton of value out of it this game. Okay. And... Okay, I got a hook here. Okay, Cheryl got the unhook. Or I guess, was a thing? Yeah, it was a thing. Now they might run around the other way and go get that unhook. Oh, someone's just working on this gen right here. And so, only three hooks left, so they are all dead on hook. So, go ahead and uh, kill Cheryl here. Okay, Jeff is over there. Man, the doctor spawned, like, below him. Does that mean Cheryl's also over here? No, Cheryl's over there. See, I- see, the doctor, like, yeah, yeah, okay, so it spawns on the bottom floor even though he's up here. That's so weird. Kind of tricky. Uh, I mean, we have this pallet and a window still. And this Jeff, I will say this Jeff, um, did very well. Um, I should not have swung there. Um, he might be in trouble here, though. Wait out for the dead hard. Okay. Um... He was making me look like a fool a little bit earlier. Um, okay, so this Jeff should be dead as long as we have a hook. I'm pretty sure I can make it to this hook. I feel like they need to do something about the hooks on this map, though. This this is brutal, especially if you get a Sabo squad on this map. Absolutely brutal. Um, so that's all the survivors. Um, they did really well. I will give the Fangman hatch here. Um, but overall thoughts on the build... Um, it was a little hard. Maybe I'll go back and watch. Um, oh, found her right here. Um, but it was, it was a little hard to gauge, like, how much value I actually got out of Hex the Dark Face the Darkness. Because, you know, obviously I can't see... I mean, you can see their scream and their aura. Uh, but it's a little hard to tell, um, like, since I'm actively involved in chasing and whatever. Um, to see if, like, they were getting interrupted. Um, or what was happening. Um, so, uh, it would be cool to see, like, if I had, uh... Actually, the first game, I think I did have a Twitch streamer, but... Um, to see how it worked, like, from the survivor side of the point of view. But, uh, very fun, very evil build. Um, if you are looking to try out one of the new perks, um, I definitely had a lot of fun with it. And, uh, I miss playing Doctor, so, uh, I was glad to play Doctor again here. Um, so, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you all in the next one.